Okay guys, so now we have our first view controller set up and we're going to make the Hello World app, which is going to be pretty simple here. It's going to be a label and a button and when we click the button it's just going to change text. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is set up our view. We're going to come down to our objects here and we're going to add a new label. Center it up and maybe spread it out a little bit. And while the label is selected, we're going to come over to our properties and we're going to center that and we'll just change the text to Hello World. Okay. And now we're going to come back down here and we're going to put in our round rectangular button. Put that in right below it. And spread it out a little bit. come into our properties again and just change the text of that. We're going to change it to uh, we'll click me. Okay. And you can see that the label and the button were added right here. Save that out. So now what we're going to do is if you run it, oh, I already had it running there. So now you can see that we have a button and label, but when you click it, the button doesn't do anything. So we're going to have to do that in code. So we're going to go up here to our little tuxedo and split the view. Come back in here. And we're going to come into our first view controller.h file. This is where we're going to be declaring everything that we want to use in the .m file. So all Xcode made it really nice, so all we're going to have to do is uh, hold, actually click on our label first, and then we're going to hold down the control key, and then just drag it in between interface and end. And it should bring up this little pop-up here. And we have an outlet that we want to connect into the first view controller. And we're going to name it something like label1. Make sure it's set as UI label, and we'll leave the storage strong connect and then it shows up right here okay save that now we're going to switch this to the .m file and now to use this label we're going to have to actually synth synthesize it which means to make the getter and setter for it so we're going to synthesize the label one. Save that. Okay, so now we can use label one pretty much in this entire .m class here. So we're going to come down below the view did load and the memory warning here, and we're actually going to make the function for the button click. So we're going to click on our button, hold down control, and then drag and drop into the .m file. And it'll bring up this connection again, which is an action in the first view controller. We're going to name it something like button click me underscore clicked. So we know this is the function for the button being clicked. Uh, the type is going to be ID. And we're going to want the touch up inside. So anytime we click inside this area or the button area, then it's going to fire this event and the sender and connect. Okay, then we're going to come inside this function here. And all we're going to do, every time we want the, anytime that button's going to be clicked, we're going to change the label text. So in this case, we'll do label one dot text is equal to, and let's make a new string. We'll just call it changed. Okay, let's save that out. And now when we run our app, it says hello world right now, and if we click it, it should go to changed.